Hey y'all, it's the Country Notary. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about something that I found very fascinating and I was very excited when I encountered my first one of these events as a new notary, um, receiving payment through e-check. And I had heard a few videos, there have been several um, notaries that do these great videos out there where you can pick up all types of information um, as you browse through your streaming services. I'm sure you've come across many, otherwise you probably wouldn't be looking at mine right now. However, the concept of receiving payment through an email, not a direct deposit, uh, but a check. Uh, so we're going to chat a little bit about that today, just to give you some insight as to how that process works. So when you receive your first e-check, you'll be, you'll have the heads up and you won't have the, uh, maybe the, oh, concern or whatever that I may have had when I received my first one. Obviously, if you choose to be paid by e-check and print the check, you'll obviously need a checking account. However, you do your checking account, your banking, deposit, making deposits. It is a literal physical check that you'll print yourself and bring to the bank. And by the way, I love bringing checks to the bank. I do other vendor work, but before I became a notary, I've been doing other vendor work for years. And it's always great when I go to the bank, maybe once a week with a whole stack of checks, stacking that paper. And uh, even though it's kind of old school, I still like making deposits. So uh, e-check is something that I select because the direct deposit option has a service fee attached to it and I choose not to pay a service fee for something that I can go to the bank and do myself through the drive through and like I said when you have a few I actually save them I have a few that I'm going to deposit at the same time this is my second one and then a couple of other jobs that I've had uh, maybe my third one because I have three uh, three checks to deposit right now so here we go I'm going to chat with you guys a little bit about that uh, so I received an email from a uh, Coast to Coast Sightings that here's your check from Coast to Coast Sightings services for 70. And as you can see, based on my cryptic uh, technology, I received this email today from Coast to Coast Sightings for my e-check. The company, the company they use is called uh, Deluxe Payment Exchange. So Deluxe Payment Exchange. So the way it works, you'll set yourself up a uh, profile. Uh, you'll receive an email with your first e-check. You'll click on it. You'll set yourself up a profile with the payment company, in this case, Deluxe Payment Exchange. Set up a profile and type in your information, your checking account number, etc. And and they'll email you um, when your check is ready. You'll get a, maybe a two-day notice or a same-day notice that, hey, you have a check available from this company. And the check comes in the form of an email, again, Coast to Coast signings. And like I said, if I'm not mistaken, this might be my second check from Coast to Coast signings. So how does this work? So what I choose to do, log in and get check. I choose to print my checks. It is a little old school, but I enjoy printing my checks. I actually like going to the bank. You know, it's kind of cool. Uh, some people do online banking, only their bank is literally online. They've never even this out of state or uh, online banking, remote banking. I have a bank that I use to actually in town credit unions and I like going to the bank. I like depositing checks. Uh, you know, it just makes me feel like I did something, accomplished something, uh, physically depositing checks. And the other work that I do besides my full-time job, I've been a vendor in the sports industry for years and uh, the school districts pay uh, mostly by paper check. A few do auto deposits, but most school district district still pay by paper check. So I've been going to the bank about once or twice a week for years now. And with the loan signing and notary business, I again find myself going to the bank just because I enjoy it. Even though this type of system that I'm going to speak of has the option of doing auto deposit or paper check, but I prefer paper check. Like I said, I oddly, sometimes I'll drive in and the teller, even though I do drive through the teller may recognize me so how, how are you how are you doing today miss dana and i'll be like uh uh thank you i'm great thank you like she's uh seen me but you know just saw me last week and say yeah that's great you just saw me last week i was stacking that paper and depositing last week so anyway printing the check and i'm going to print the check and show you guys uh what it looks like i i always prefer to print them on color paper just because they come in color and it doesn't look forged uh, when you get to the bank because it's already a strange concept. 
of printing a uh, your own check. So here we go. Hope my printer is uh, being friendly today. I'm using my uh, brother printer. I kept my brother printer, which I had uh, before I bought the uh, HP. Um, keep promising to talk about the HP in a video. And my brother paper printer is color. So of course it'll print the check in color, which like I said, I like before. I like that feature of printing the check in color. And along those lines, I saved my very first check. I thought it was just so cool. I printed an extra copy of it and I saved it. It's void, of course, I can't use it because I've already um, deposited the actual one in the bank, but I saved a copy of my very first check that I received from a signing service, the very first um, job that I received from any signing service, a uh, loan company period, and I saved it and I'm gonna frame it just uh, since I'm on this subject, along with the first dollar, see I put a sticky note on it, first dollar I made as a notary, a mobile notary, notary public, on, uh, made that dollar on uh, January, uh, it says January 4th, but that's not correct. I made this dollar the last Monday in January. I'm not sure why I wrote those dates down. They, I may have used that sticky note for something else I recycled. So I saved these two things. I'm gonna put them in a frame and hang them on my wall. My first dollar as a general notary and my first check from uh, as, a, as a loan signing agent. So again, I like to print them in color and basically, and I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna make this long guys, I'm kind of rambling. Um, there's uh, deposit instructions on there, of course, for the uh, bank, and there's also the name and phone number of the uh, company here in case the bank is concerned. This is looks like you printed this on your own home computer, ma'am. Say, actually, I did. Um, and you literally cut it. On the back side, there's no um, line. There's no spot up here where you normally have a line that says, do not write below this line or sign here. That There's none of that. It doesn't come two-sided. But I literally just signed that top line and uh, deposited in the bank with mother checks. And uh, the first time, I've only done it once, I think, or maybe twice, the teller didn't say anything. She just said, have a nice day and uh, send me my uh, ID back. So e-checks, it's that simple. And when you get one, of course, you'll know. Make sure you keep your profile up to date in the payment system. Every once in a while, I'll double check my profile. I keep a list of uh, payment systems or, um, you know, any uh, accounts that I've uh, opened or paying, a, you know, service fees for, et cetera receiving payments from. I keep a listing in my Google Docs to make sure I don't forget to make sure my profile is up to date, that nothing's expired, uh, that I haven't changed any uh, pertinent information, etc. So um, other than that, you'll get an email when you when your job is uh, ready to be paid, norm either 30 days or however long that company's payment system is. And after that email, either that email or the subsequent email, your check is there. And Today, I will probably be headed to the bank depositing those three checks. I've actually held on to two of them for a while because I'm thinking, and um, if I do so, I'm going to share this with y'all as well. I'm thinking of just keeping those three checks and, uh, and maybe my next physical check and using those to open my business uh, bank account, which I'm uh, just in the process of researching which bank I want to go with. Uh, there's been some recommendations by other uh people, uh, notaries to check into Citibank and or Capital One because they offer uh, incentives for new business bank accounts. So I'll be doing that research hopefully and get that done this week because I would like to deposit those checks and uh, get a debit card so that I could start depositing and spending within my own uh, notary business apart from my personal account. So that might be what I do with it. Again, e-check, um, when you get one, maybe you like myself, you'll be so excited. And don't be worried about uh, depositing it. Make it. It looks weird or funny. There's deposit instructions printed on the check. The teller can read those. Call that 800 number if they need to. And um, I don't think you should have any issues with that. So that's about all, guys. The Country Notary would love your like, your share, your subscribe. And... Uh, Allow me to keep, you know, thinking of uh, insights and uh, topics that might help you as uh, you move along through your business and 
help you, you know, get through some of the subtle uh, questions that you probably wouldn't have thought about until you came across it. So have a great week and I will be back with you soon.